everybody, this is Jake from Longtail Pro, and on this video, I'm going to show you another Platinum exclusive feature, which is the average keyword competitiveness. Um, this feature alone is, is you know, a great reason for having Platinum, simply because it gives you more intelligence in choosing your keywords, helps you evaluate them much more quickly. Um, and basically how it works is that you'll see the average keyword competitiveness column here uh, when you have Platinum. And we have a uh, algorithm um, that will score the keyword on a scale of 1 to 100 to tell you how difficult it might be to rank for that keyword. So the higher the number, the more difficult it is. Um, as a general rule, you know, we always tell folks to start out with lower competition keywords. Um, so we consider anything under a 30 typically to be low competition. Um, the lower the better, so something in the 20s and even in the teens, you know, would be really low competition. Once you get up into the mid-30s, high-30s, um, it's a little bit higher level of competition, but not out of the question. It kind of depends on, is your site brand new? Do you have a site that has some authority of your own? If so, you may very well be able to, to rank well for that keyword. Um, once you get up into the 40s and the 50s, it is pretty difficult to rank for that unless you do have some, some pretty serious authority going with your domain. So as you build your site and get a lot of quality links and things like that, you may get to that point where you could you know, go after some keywords in the 40s and, and even the 50s, um, but you'll, you'll typically run into a lot of the big brands there that are pretty focused in on that, that keyword. So all of that said, let's look at just a couple of examples, and you can see that I've calculated um, this already, and I'm looking at just some home home workouts was my seed keyword here, and I'm, I'm going through some of the results just to see what we've got. Um, so I'll calculate uh, a couple of others to see if we can find anything that's, that's lower competition or just show you um, how it works. So it will calculate uh, one at a time, as you see. So the first one's working, and then the others say that they're waiting until that's completed. So I, But I can go ahead and click Calculate. Um, on as many as I'd like, um, and it, it'll go through those, and, and as I say, it'll just process one at a time. So um, when one is completed, or another way I can do this, I should say, is that I can just click on the name of the keyword itself um, to expand my competitive analysis, you know, just in general. And so here, I actually see the keyword competitiveness rating for each individual result. Um, and just to give you a little bit of insight of, of how we calculate this, um, it starts with the page authority, which comes from Moz, which is a pretty complex calculation in itself that sort of, uh, it's, it's just telling you the, um, the ability or the odds of that page to rank well in the search engines. And so it's taking into account the domain authority of the site that that page is on, um, the number of links and the quality of those links, social sharing, other things like that that all get baked into this number that they provide. Um, and then we take that and we tie in different weights based on how well the page is actually targeting the keyword that you're looking at. So there might be a page that's super authoritative as far as page authority is concerned, but maybe that page has nothing to do with the keyword that you're talking about. Well, then the competitiveness score would be lower um, because you could beat that page for, for the keyword in question, if that makes sense. Um, so we're really looking at the page, all the domain and page authority combined with how well the domain, how well the page title, page description, how will those things really target the keyword that you're talking about? So this example here, at-home workouts for men without weights, is a really specific keyword. It's scored at a 28 um, at the time of this recording here. So it's based on all these domains. And there are some you know, men's fitness and men, uh, different domains that have some authority there, as you can see, and some good page authority. But um, there's not a lot of pages on here that talk about this specific thing, home workouts for men without weights. You know, you might have workouts for men, you might have at-home workouts, but the number of pages that are targeting that whole phrase, um, th there's not that many that are truly doing it. And so in total, you've got some weaker results mixed in here from less authoritative sites. And so it comes back as a 28. So this is something that's fairly low competition that if we did a piece of content that was focused specifically on this keyword, we would have a decent shot of, of moving up into the top 10, rank, top 10 results there for that search. On the other hand, if we look at at-home workouts, um, which I had already run the calculation on, scored with a 52, um, you can see this is more of a head term as opposed to like a long tail phrase. So pretty much just about every result on here has at-home workouts in it. Most of them do or some form of that. Plus you have a lot of really high page authority. 
super high domain authority. And so it all equals out to, you know, your site trying to rank for at home workouts would be very, very difficult to climb that, climb that mountain. Um, so that's just a little bit of a, of an indicator. So my suggestion to you is, you know, start out, you know, when you run keywords, anything you see that you're interested in, you can see the results I started a, a moment ago are now complete. And all of these are probably higher competition than I would want to look at. I might look at this 37, this best home workout equipment. I would probably open that up if this was something that really fit well with, with my site and what I was trying to do. And I kind of wanted to do that. I might open that up and look a little bit deeper. Um, but certainly the keyword competitiveness score is a great indicator to you just to, there's some things, well, let's just move on to the next one. There's other things where, you know, it's right in that range of somewhere in the middle, like a, a 35 or something like that, where then it gives you the, the signal, hey, let's dig a little deeper into these results. Let's see what's there. Let's see how well targeted it is. And then you kind of follow your gut. You know, you make a little bit of a judgment call there. Um, but as you can see, you know, you can sort by the keyword competitiveness up here. So after I've calculated it on a bunch of uh, phrases or keywords in my campaign here, I can sort and then look at it that way. And then, of course, you can use your favorites to, you know, hold on to those lower competition words that you want to target later on and make some notes as well. Um, so hopefully that's a nice overview for you of how the, the KC scoring works. If you have any questions, um, feel free to stop by the Longtail Pro blog or send us an email at support at longtailpro.com, and we'd be happy to help you out with that.